How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another Doken Battle video and today I'm going to be using my very, very best villain team on the global version of the game. So of course we have a 100% Rose as well as a 100% Rose Friend, 100% Goku Black, we have Margin Vegeta, Broly, Omega Shenron and we also have Merge and Marcy because of course they all share a ton of, okay, for the most part they do share a ton of links but of course they uh, we have the Goku Black passive in our team so we have the Rose and a Friend Rose that can give them a free key to all extreme type um, allies and then we also have the Goku Black who can do the exact same thing Unfortunately, he does not do that on the Japanese version of the game. Of course, we are on global So he can do that. So Rose and Goku Black are going to be given the key to Marge and Vegeta, uh, Vegeta Who isn't going to be linking too well because his main link is over in the flash Of course, but it doesn't matter too much when you have double Rose and uh, and of course when you have the passive that gives a free key Broly has prepare for battle and then of course you have the again passive going off Omega Shenron with fear and faith Merge and Mars with fear and faith and every single unit here has fear and faith apart from margin vegeta and broly so when it comes to linking and just super attacking consistently that shouldn't be a problem but i would imagine that some of you are probably wondering where cooler is and unfortunately i didn't manage to pull him here's the thing even if i did pull him i don't really know who i would replace in that particular team just because of what they provide i suppose and because of how um how many potential system buffs they have for example Goku Black is pretty important to making this team work just because he gives that free key and of course he links up super well and straight away you can tell that that um, Super Saiyan Rose lead makes a massive difference when it comes to using Margin Vegeta and of course you also have the, again, the key passive that makes a massive difference. You have a Mega Shenron who is basically cooler but he's a bit better I'd say. Depend to be honest it depends on what you want because a Mega Shenron can debuff in like everyone but then you have Cooler who does get that defensive boost from his own passive of course but the thing about that, that defensive boost is that um, it can get lowered because the enemies do greatly lower defense. So when your defense is greatly lowered, your defensive stat is going to go down a bit, especially on this team in particular. So he is going to be tanking as well if he does, in um, in fact, take multiple super attacks on. Whereas with um, Omega Shenron's debuff, it lasts because, like, that's just part of his passive, right? It's kind of like Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. It doesn't matter, uh, matter how many times he super attacks or gets super attacks, I should say. That's always going to be active as long as he is in play. And then, of course, you have Goku Black, who can debuff every time you super attack. So, there are just so many things about his team that it's okay to not have physical cooler in there. He doesn't really provide anything else apart from the ability to attack multiple times. And Omega Shenron and physical cooler are basically the same card. The biggest difference is that Omega doesn't get that defensive boost like I just touched on. And then, of course, um, Omega also... Well, actually, Omega can super attack twice, like, um, cooler. So, they are essentially the same card with a few differences. Now, of course... We have, mm, I will probably go with this because I don't really want to get Margin Vegeta's 18 key just because his 12 key is stronger. But again, as you can clearly tell when it comes to super attacking, absolutely no problems thus far. And I, like, I'm currently taking on the um, latest boss rush stage. So I'm curious to see how well this team will do on getting to the end completely. But because I do have a 100% Rose and a Rose friend and then the Great Black as well, the LRs, I shouldn't have any problem getting to the end. With minimal item usage, but let's just see how far we can get in like 15 minutes, maybe. Yeah, of course, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. And if you do feel like Coolum could potentially have a spot on his team, do let me know. Because it doesn't matter that he has... Uh, what's the, uh, the link? It doesn't matter that he has shocking speed. Because as you can clearly tell, despite Margin Vegeta's main link being over in the flash, it doesn't make that much of a difference because of Rose's and Goku Black's passive. So it mostly comes down to the fact that cooler just basically does the same as omega shenron so let me know if you think you can replace anyone because again link's not the problem it's just what he provides overall that's a bit of a problem i suppose so far i think the team's been performing pretty damn well and um who we have this turn we have margin vegeta we have rose and we also have merge and marsu and to be honest like just like i'm thinking now like what are the best rotations for this particular team because they will hit hard, so like there isn't like a unit that I can necessarily get rid of. But then you have a Mega Shenron that can debuff. You have Goku Black that can debuff. But then again, you don't really need Goku Black's passive because you're gonna have a Rose every single turn. But then again, he does have that great link set. But then it's just like so many different scenarios in my head. It's like okay, which one do I want to go with? But the, because Goku Black is 100%, it's like I can't get rid of him. And like despite not getting that many orbs. He is still going to be hitting pretty damn hard and consistently get crits to go off. Like I said, he can debuff. So when Omega isn't in play, of course, Goku Black is going to be debuffing. So 
There are just so many options for this particular team. And this is a good scenario because now I can choose the Broly to go ahead and... Is that the ultimate attack? Of course it is. But with Broly, I can choose this AoE to take out every single guy here. And honestly, I kind of wish I used this team a bit more because I didn't realize like, how, how versatile it actually is. Because it can do a lot. It can tank. And at the same time, it can hit hard. And I definitely feel like it's one of the safer options. And I definitely believe that it's probably better than heroes at the moment. Just because we don't have any of the other... Hero LRs, of course, and any of the other hero leads. Actually, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. But with Marjorie Vegeta and Broly on your team, it's kind of hard for your team not to be very good. And because Omega is probably better than Gogeta, barely, it's just like, I don't know. There are so many different options that can make one team better than the other. But as you can clearly tell, it doesn't matter what rotation I particularly stick with. There are just so many great options for this team. Like, almost every single unit in this particular team just shares so many links with each other. The odd one, uh, to be honest, the odd ones out are actually the LRs. But apart from that, you have Goku Black and Tomasu and, you know, Super Saiyan Rose. With Fear and Faith, um, let's go with this. You have Goku Black and Tomasu and, of course, Super Saiyan Rose. Fear and Faith, Big Bad Bosses, Nightmare. Prepare for battle. Just so many links with each other. And if you have the... LR in here, of course, LR's a Marcy and Black. It's just going to be an even better team. But it just comes down to who would you replace. Probably Merger Marcy. In that particular scenario, you would replace Merger Marcy. Just because the LR, I mean, despite needing the build up, he would just provide a bit more to the team in healing, tanking, and he would still hit hard, of course. Like, despite needing that build up, it would be hitting harder. And he would actually share more links with everyone else in the team because the LR has Prepare for Battle, Fear and Faith, Nightmare. Big bad bosses, and I know you're probably thinking, does Mer Merger Marcy have those links? Well, Merger Marcy has every single one of those links apart from Prepare for Battle, which the LR would actually end up sharing with LR Broly, so that would definitely help out a bit more. And I made a mistake here. I think I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. That was extremely dumb. I did not realize how low in health I was, so give me a moment. So now I'm actually going to go ahead and take on the physical cooler event. And I'm running a double merge. No, not, not double merge Marcy. That'd be impossible. I'm running a Goku Black as well as a merge Marcy lead. Just because I do want to show you guys the importance of Goku Black's passive. If you, um, if you were to run a particular lead. Granted that the um, double rose is probably the safest thing to run. Because you are consistently going to be super attacking. But if you do want to go for the bigger boost. But less key. This is what you would most likely have to run. You would want to have... A Goku Black and a Rose every single turn because of course you only have one of each. But again, I want to show you the importance of the importance, pardon me, of Goku Black's passive buff. So on a rotation like this, you're probably thinking, okay, Mar Marjorie Vegeta is going to struggle to super attack, and yeah, he is going to struggle to um, super attack. But the majority of your like this is just a bad example because the key placement is kind of all over the place. But in a ideal scenario, Merger Marcy and Goku, um, Goku Black are going to super attack without any problems because of the amount of key links that they share. And Merger Marcy, not Merger Marcy, I'm going to get the two mixed up because they both start with M. But then you have Marjorie Vegeta at the end, who you'd most likely have to plan for like in a rotation prior. So I'm going to hopefully get that to um, happen several times. There may be a few situations on this particular lead where he may not super attack, but for the most part, they're going to super attack consistently. But I'm going to try my very best to plan out every single turn. And I know that's something that some people don't like. They may like prefer the consistency with the double super same rose lead and that's perfectly fine but if you do want to have that additional increase from the merger master lead you do have to plan ahead of a little bit more so for example in a rotation like this absolutely no problems rose given the key they all share fear and faith and you know what let's go ahead and grab these and of course um in a turn that's coming up or in the next rotation we aren't going to have the margin vegeta because he is coming back round but super same rose yeah should take him out here especially if he gets a crit and then of course you have a mega at the end with the debuff to be honest, if Omega did have a few potential system buffs, I would consider putting him over Merger Marsu, which, I mean, it would make sense because I do believe, pardon me, that Fear, um, Omega Shenron has Nightmare as well, and that's one of the biggest attacks on the villains, of course, especially on this team in particular. But Merger, um, not Merger Marsu, Merger Vegeta is kind of the, of the odd one out, just because he doesn't really, like, share too many attack links either. But he's good enough to run in this team because, he, what, because of what he provides overall. But again, it comes down to what your team kind of looks like and what these ones personally run. But again, 
when it comes to Broly, it honestly isn't that much of a problem because he does share prepare for battle with both Rose and Goku Black. So you can just put that lot of fear and faith unit at the end there, like I just did with Merge Masu. And of course, um, we have a passive from Goku Black going off. That's instant 9 key, as well as the prepare for battle link, which puts him on 11 key. You only need one key to super attack, and you don't necessarily need to aim for that 18 key super attack consistently because Broly is going to super attack twice anyway. So. Just one of those things that you don't really need to worry about when it comes to this team in particular. And again, Merger Mars in that last slot isn't that much of a problem because you have the Broly in the first slot that's going to make up for him leaving anyway. Granted, he doesn't share that many attacks into Goku Black, but his overall damage output basically makes up for that. Now, this is where it's starting to work a little more because, of course, this is like this is basically my very first rotation against this event where I had. I'm actually going to heal up here just in case. Where I had Goku Black, Merger Marcy, I believe, and then I had the Marge of Vegeta as well. But I got kind of lucky here because the key placement was fine. And you can tell, despite not having that many key links, or I should say attack links, with Rose and Merger Marcy, he's still going to make up for that with it's just, you know, it's. So I had to quickly grab a drink there because I, my throat is kind of dying, but it's fine. So again, when it comes to Broly, it works perfectly fine. I'm actually going to go ahead and put... <clears throat> yeah, you can actually see straight away that when I link up Goku Black with... Um, what, what is what's his name? Um, Omega Shenron. His attack goes up quite significantly, but the thing about Broly is that his damage output is just significant enough to you know warrant super attacking with him over... Um, pardon me, over Omega Shenron. And of course, in this particular situation... Omega Shenron didn't super attack, but that's because I wanted to put Goku Black first, just so that he'll take a bit less damage from the attacks that are coming towards me, of course. And that was probably a bad idea. Okay, never mind, I got lucky there with the additional. But normally, I would have put Broly there. Broly would have super attacked twice, and then, of course, Omega Shenron at the end would have super attacked. And now we have Marge Vegeta back again, with the Bro's passive going off. And again, absolutely no problem super attacking, because your placement was fine. So, for the most part, super attacking isn't the problem I think that the only situation where I didn't really super attack was with Margin Vegeta at the very start. Granted, I didn't super attack with Omega Shenron in the previous rotation, but that's because I wanted to put the Goku Black first. If I wanted to, I definitely could have super attacked. And am I going to die again? I could actually die. I just make so many mistakes. It's not, even I'm, like, it's not even that I make mistakes. I just take like so many risks. You did get the crit. But I think, well, I mean, Big Bad Bosses is active, but despite that being active, I don't think Merger Marcy can tank these hits. But then, you can definitely see whether LR could potentially fit in here if I'm... Oh, boy. I think this is it, but I think I'll put my point across. Am I dead? Okay, I am dead. So, yeah. If I was to potentially replace someone in this team, it would probably be Merge and Marcy with the LR. Just like I pointed out earlier, it's because of the links overall. But then I think about the rotations, and it's just like, who, like, what would the rotations look like? Because you have both LRs. Well, if I had LR Goku Black and Zamasu in this particular team, that's three LRs. So would I get rid of Goku Black because of how many key links they share? But then again, depending on the leads that I'm running, it may actually be beneficial for me to run Merge and Marcy because I have multiple units that give the key and they share links with each other. So you can definitely play around with it a bit more, but I definitely had a lot of fun using this team despite getting bodied twice. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for this team in particular, let me know in the comment section down below as always. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.